What is up guys, this is Felix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a text explode in Cinema 4D with zero gravity. Get it? Alright, let's do this thing. So click MoGraph, choose a text object, type something awesome. Yeah, and uh, you know, this works with any object really. Uh, okay, let's choose a cool font here. Uh, there we go. Gonna create some caps. Some bevels. Because I like bevels. Okay, we got our text here. So select your text object, click plugins, and choose Throwsy. Okay, so if you don't already have Throwsy, I really suggest you go download it. I will leave a download link below in the description, um, uh, and, and and it's a great plugin. You know um, what it does? It, it basically like breaks objects into pieces. Um, so let's choose ten pieces here, and then it will break each character into ten pieces. So uh, click break now. Yeah, and obviously you don't need to type in ten pieces. You can type in how many pieces you want. But if you type in too many, your computer will crash if you well if you don't have a super awesome computer. Okay, so let's um, close down this Throwsy window. Uh and you can see that we got all these materials here. You can replace these. It doesn't have to be grey. And you have these objects here instead of the text object. We can open up the P Throwsy and you can see here's all the pieces, you know and we've got selection tags and whatnot but you don't need to worry about that um, so we can play the animation here so, um, yeah not uh, not very cool uh, we want to stop the text from falling down so let's create a plane make it bigger uh, okay and then we should probably bring this down a bit Okay, and then right click, choose MoGraph tags, rigid body. Okay, so now this floor or this plane here, sorry, have a rigid body. Uh, so it's going to stop the text from falling down there. Alright, so that's the basic animation. Uh, let's try to make this without any gravity. Let's see what happens then. Um, okay, so click edit and then choose project settings so we got a ton of settings here we got frames per second for example uh, FPS frames per second you can change whatever you like here but we are going to click mode dynamics uh, okay let's change the gravity from a thousand to one uh, okay let's play the animation Now the text is just slowly, slowly breaking apart because there's no gravity or anything. Uh, well, there's a little gravity effect in it, but it's not a lot. We can play with the time scale in another tutorial because uh, you can create like this cool matrix effect. You can freeze. You can basically freeze what's happening, but you can still move the camera. Okay, so let's make the text explode. Uh, there's a couple of different ways you can do this, but one of the ways is that we create a sphere. So we've got a sphere here. Uh, let's go to frame 30. 30. Put this down. And move it back. Kind of like that. Choose chord. And uh, make a keyframe, make two keyframes by holding down control and click the position uh, C uh, and Y okay let's move this to uh, frame 50 uh, no, uh, frame 40 yeah frame 40 is alright and then just change these values to zero like so and then make keyframes okay so you can actually see the keyframes here uh, okay put this to frame one 
Oh, shit, I forgot something. Right click on the sphere and choose MoGraph Tags Rigid Body. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Boom! That's that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool, yeah? But uh, we got this big ugly sphere here, and we don't want that, do we? No, so we can make it invincible first in the uh, rendering. Uh, so when we render, you don't see any sphere, and in the editor as well, so it's not in the way. You know, it's still there, it affects everything, but uh, we just can't see it. So there you go, folks. Um, we have created a explosion with Drowsy. Um, no gravity whatsoever. Okay, well, a little, little gravity. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, that's pretty much it. Um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you learned something, please press the little like button below. Uh, it helps me out, and, uh, you know, I really appreciate that. Um, so, other than that, guys, see you later.